Democritus sparked the idea of atoms. John Dalton gave it scientific form. Thomson introduced electrons to the atom. Nagaoka's rings twirled, then dispersed. So what happened next? The journey through the evolution of atomic models takes us to the early 20th century where Ernest Rutherford made significant contributions. Ernest Rutherford was a student of J.J. Thomson at the University of Cambridge and he is often referred to as the father of nuclear physics. In contrast to Joseph John Thomson's plum pudding model, where electrons were thought to be embedded in a positively charged pudding of matter, Ernest Rutherford's nuclear model proposed a radically different atomic structure. Ernest Rutherford, a New Zealand-born physicist, alongside collaborators Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, conducted the famous gold foil experiment during the period between 1908 and 1913. This groundbreaking series of experiments provided crucial insights into the structure of the atom. This experiment involved firing alpha particles at a thin gold foil only 0.00004 cm thick, expecting them to pass through with minimal deflection based on the prevailing plum pudding model proposed by Joseph John Thomson. However, the results of Rutherford's experiment were astonishing. A majority of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil. However, some particles were unexpectedly scattered at large angles and a few even bounced back. Approximately one out of every 20,000 alpha particles had experienced a deflection of 45 degrees or greater. Upon observing the unexpected scattering of alpha particles in his gold foil experiment, Ernest Rutherford famously remarked. It was almost as incredible as if you fired a 15-inch shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you. This unexpected outcome led Rutherford to propose the new nuclear model of the atom and conclude that atoms have a small, dense nucleus at their center surrounded by mostly empty space where electrons orbit. Rutherford's nuclear model marked a crucial step in the ongoing refinement of atomic theories, particularly in redefining our understanding of the distribution of positive charge and mass within the atom. The transition from the plum pudding model to the nuclear model marked a pivotal moment in the evolving understanding of atomic structure, showcasing the dynamic nature of scientific progress. The Rutherford model was a significant advancement, yet a lingering question and a sense of ambiguity emerged in the scientific community. How electrons with their negative charge could stably orbit a positively charged nucleus without continuously losing energy and spiraling inward? This perplexity fueled the quest for a more accurate atomic model. Building upon Rutherford's nuclear model, Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist, introduced the planetary model in 1913. He introduced the quantum concept into atomic theory. Niels Bohr was a student of J.J. Thomson and Ernest Rutherford. He proposed that electrons orbit the nucleus in specific quantized energy levels or orbits akin to planets revolving around the Sun. He also suggested that electrons can transition between these levels by absorbing or emitting energy in discrete packets known as quantum of light or photons, facilitating the exchange of energy within the atom. This phenomenon is specifically referred to as quantum leaps or quantum jumps. Bohr's planetary model played a pivotal role in explaining the stability of atoms and their emission or absorption of light. 
This model, though surpassed by the more sophisticated quantum mechanical atomic model, continues to offer valuable insights into the arrangement of electrons in an atom and their energy levels and serves as a valuable tool for simplifying complex atomic concepts even today. Bohr's model addressed the inadequacies of earlier models by incorporating quantized energy levels, explaining the discrete spectral lines observed in hydrogen emission spectra. However, a notable limitation of the model surfaced as it struggled to accurately predict the behavior of atoms beyond hydrogen, especially in their emission spectra. In 1923, French physicist Louis Victor de Broglie proposed that all forms of matter and radiation exhibit both particle and wave like attributes. This wave particle duality introduced a new layer of complexity to our understanding of the subatomic world. The advent of quantum mechanics, spearheaded by scientists like Werner Heisenberg and Erwin Schrödinger, further refined our understanding of atomic structure. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle highlighted the limitations in simultaneously knowing the precise position and momentum of a particle, challenging classical notions of determinism. Schrödinger, on the other hand, formulated a wave equation in 1926 that described the behavior of electrons as both particles and waves. The journey culminates in the 1920s with Erwin Schrödinger's development of the quantum mechanical model. This model describes electrons as existing within probability clouds or orbitals rather than fixed orbits. Schrödinger's model successfully addressed the limitations of previous models and aligns with experimental observations, marking a significant leap in the precision of describing atomic behavior. As we explore the scientific evolution spanning more than two millennia from Democritus to Schrödinger, we witness the remarkable progress in discovering the truth about the atom structure and behavior. The continuous refinement of the atomic models reflects humanity's ceaseless quest for a deeper comprehension of the fundamental building blocks of our universe. This epic journey has significantly influenced our understanding, propelling humanity toward groundbreaking discoveries that persistently reshape the boundaries of scientific knowledge. Such revelations serve as inspiration for future generations, encouraging them to embark on their own exploration of the profound mysteries of the cosmos. The next time you undergo a health diagnosis and witness the intricate workings of medical technologies like the magnetic resonance imaging MRI machine, benefit from technological marvels or experience the countless ways atomic theory enhances our lives, recall the names of these brilliant minds. Democritus, John Dalton, Joseph John Thompson, Ernest Rutherford, Niels Bohr, and Erwin Schrödinger. Their contributions have paved the way for scientific progress that permeates our daily lives, giving rise to the inventions and discoveries that have made modern life infinitely more accessible and efficient. We owe them our gratitude for shaping the foundations of our understanding and for leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of scientific discovery. And so, one can imagine Democritus smiling, reassured that his ancient insights have endured the test of time and scientific progress. I recommend you to watch my video, Atom, what it actually is. The link is in the video description below and in the top right corner. Don't miss it, because knowledge is power. 
As we conclude our journey, remember to subscribe, like and share if you've enjoyed this scientific odyssey and want to spread the wonder of discovery. Your support fuels the quest for knowledge. Until our next adventure, keep exploring the wonders of science. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.